What happens when someone passes and you and you long for them or you mourn for them endlessly? You actually trap them? Yes. Many people who are trapped on the earth plane are actually trapped because of your grief. Um, you remember in the movie... Uh, um, no, no. Um, what Dreams May Come. You remember how you know he was with her while she was feeling these emotions? And then it sort of depicted the, him walking away from her while she was crying. You remember that scene where he, she was at a grave site screaming about you know the pain she was feeling, and he walked away from her, and that was the last time he saw her on the earth. Quite the opposite of often the case. When a person is grieving for you emotionally in on earth, the spirit often wants to stay with the person for as long as they're grieving. But the problem is that it prevents the spirit from actually working out where they are and what they need to do to work through their stuff to progress with themselves. And so um, the grieving emotions, while it's appropriate to feel your grief, directing them at the person creates huge amounts of trouble for the person in the spirit world. Understand that your feelings of grief are because you have yet to release some emotions about your belief system. What are the beliefs? That's the end. That's the end of life altogether, as soon as we die, or there's no spirit world, or, you know, I that I've I won't ever see them again, or I've lost contact with them, and none of those beliefs are true. And the truth is that you need to release all those false beliefs emotionally, and that's what grieving is about, releasing those false beliefs emotionally. So, the key thing for you if you're grieving, the key thing for you if you're grieving is to let yourself feel your emotions, but don't project them at the person that you're grieving for. Because when you do that, you're actually keeping them connected with you and not allowing them to actually move forward in their own progression. And Joe, does that also happen when you don't <coughs> grieve and you push grief away? Certainly. Remember, I've said that whenever you're not feeling an emotion, you're projecting the emotion. So it's the same thing. Yeah. 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 So what's the best thing you can do for someone who's passed and you know they're not in a good state? Yeah. Or you suspect that they, you know, they passed with a lot of, a lot of issues unresolved? What's and the, the best first, thing? What I would do is I would uh, get a vid DVD of one of the Secrets of the Universe's DVDs, sit down with them, long for them to sit down with you next year, and say, I want you to watch this DVD now with me. Yes, yeah, so we could do it with your DVDs. Yeah, or you can make one of your own. You can do the diagrams yourself and explain it all. Whatever, whatever. So that is how we do it. Yeah, and what that does is it opens up their conceptions. It opens up their belief system to see what the truth is, and that straight away will allow them to investigate things they would not have normally investigated. Mm -hmm. See, just the act of passing is a very, very sensitive time for a spirit. And the reason why is that many people on earth don't believe in a spirit world until they pass. Yeah. Now, that is a time when, if you take the opportunity, you can teach so many things of truth to the person. Mm -hmm. And that's why the majority of celestial spirits do not spend much time in the sixth sphere talking to sixth sphere spirits. The majority of them spend huge amounts of time in the hells or in the first sphere talking to spirits who have just passed or are just working through emotions. And the reason why is because the spirit in the sixth sphere has already got a very, very predetermined set of beliefs that a spirit in the first sphere doesn't have. And they are very, very difficult to help to get on the divine path when you've got a very specific set of beliefs. So if you have loved ones that have passed, allow yourself to talk to them. They will hear you when you talk to them. <coughs> right? you're not, you don't, don't think you're talking to yourself. They will hear you. You will get feelings in response to them if they're able to give you those feelings. Some of them won't be in a space where they're able to do that depending on what their life was like morally and what their life was like in terms of their love and all those kind of things will depend on what they'll be able to give you in return. But don't think that they can't hear you, because they can. Now, they have free will too. They might want to say, what a load of rubbish, and yeah. walk off. And that's okay too. And you may even feel when they do that. 
you've at least done the right thing to try and get them to on at the right least, path. At least, yeah. yeah. There's so much help you can give. Knowing the truth, yep. there is so much help you as a person on earth can give people in the first sphere of the spirit world. Mm. And one of the things that I would dearly love to be able to do is sit down with a, like hundreds of mediums and actually talk about how to interact with spirits in the first sphere to help them progress on the, on the divine path. 